On today's program of Power for Life, I begin a two-part teaching series on how to access the unlimited power of God and understanding the triune brain that God has given us. Somebody show us an answer. We are in need of a Savior. We need an awakening, a fresh anointing. Open our eyes again, show us the power. Hi, this is Matt Sauger, and I want to welcome you to Power for Life. There is power in God's Word. And today we're going to go into one of the apostolic prayers of Paul in the book of Ephesians. And we're going to learn from the very scripture how to access the unlimited power of God. You know, a lot of people think Jesus operated in unlimited power because he was divine, he was God. But there's a secret found in the scripture that teaches us how we can also access that same unlimited power. Thank you for your presence in this house tonight. Thank you for all that you're gonna do. Thank you for all that you are doing. We give you the glory. We give you the honor and the praise. Holy Spirit, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come in this place as it is in heaven. Anoint us, equip us, empower us. Send us out to change the world. Anoint us tonight to change the world. In Jesus' name, amen. I really sense an anointing here tonight. I want you to get ready. There's going to be an impartation that's released over your life. The limits are off tonight. I said the limits are off tonight. There is a realm of supernatural, unlimited power that God is depositing within our spirit man tonight that is not just going to be contained within us, but it's going to flow out of us to begin transforming not only us, but everyone around us. I want you to get ready. You're going to carry so much glory on your life that when you go home to your family, when you go back to your house, you go back to your workplace, that glory is going to overflow out of you and heal people and set people free all around you. Tonight I want to talk to you for a little bit and then we're going to pray about accessing the unlimited power of God. How many want to access the unlimited power of God? How many want to know how to be led by the Holy Spirit into unlimited realms of His glory, unlimited realms of miracles, unlimited realms of revelation, unlimited realms of God's manifested power? When Paul preached the Word, he preached the Word with signs following. God demonstrated His power. He accompanied the Word with power. God wants to walk with you with power. You see, when the glory comes in, all the limits leave. Come on now. When the glory comes in, everything that limits in the earthly realm, it fades. And there is a higher kingdom that overrules all the other kingdoms of this earth. Every other name that can be named. Any name of sickness, any name of oppression, any name of bondage has to submit to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See, when that glory comes in... When that unlimited power comes in, people are set free. People are healed. People are delivered. God performs divine surgery on people. Amen. Dr. Jesus steps in. <laughs> and cancels every negative report. And brings a word of healing. And brings a word of life. Turn in your Bibles with me to Ephesians chapter 1. We're going to start here and see where God takes us. Because when the wind of the Holy Spirit blows, you never quite know where it's going to go. And when you live a life in the Spirit, you're like the wind. You don't always know where you're coming from or where you're going, but you're going somewhere. <laughs> and at any moment, the wind can shift direction. Ephesians 1 verse 3, it says, May blessing 
be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm. How many here tonight are in Christ? That means that you have been blessed with every spiritual blessing. Every spiritual blessing. That includes healing, it includes deliverance, it includes provision, protection, divine guidance, favor. Any blessing you can think of in the heavenly realm belongs to you. It goes on from there. Verse 6. So that we might be to the praise and commendation of his glorious grace, which he so freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption, deliverance, salvation through his blood. The remission of our offenses. In accordance with the riches and the generosity of his gracious favor, which he lavished upon us in every kind of wisdom and understanding. Isn't that amazing? He lavished his favor on us. I said he lavished his favor on us. <laughs> Praise God tonight. You are not under the judgment of God. You are under the favor of God. You are under the lavish blessing of God. Making known to us the mystery of his will. Verse 11. In him we also were made God's heritage and we obtained an inheritance. We had been foreordained, chosen beforehand in accordance with his purpose who works out everything in agreement with the counsel and design of his will. That's a good word right there. God works out everything in agreement with the design of his will. Say everything. Everything, everything. everything. in the Greek means everything. <laughs> good, bad, ugly. He works out everything to come into agreement with his design for your life. That's why you can be happy. And then, in verse 17, it says, For I always pray to the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now here is the apostolic prayer of Paul here. I always pray to the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, that he may grant you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, of insight into mysteries and secrets. How many want to have insight into mysteries and secrets? You want to know the mysteries of God, the secrets of God. You want God to share the secrets of his heart with you. That he may grant you wisdom and revelation into the secrets in the deep and intimate knowledge of him. You see, when God reveals mysteries and secrets, it's so that we have a deep, intimate knowledge of God himself. So that we know his ways, we know his heart. And how is this accomplished? Verse 18, by having the eyes of your heart flooded with light. So that you can know and understand the hope to which he's called you and how rich is his glorious inheritance in the saints, his set-apart ones. Okay, so we would have the eyes of our heart flood with light so that, verse 19, we could know and understand what is the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of his power in and for us who believe as demonstrated in the working of his mighty strength, which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead, seated him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule, authority, power, dominion, every other name that can be named, verse 22, and has put all things under his feet, made him the supreme head of the church, verse 23, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. Now I want to look at that last verse for a moment. His church made Jesus the supreme head of the church, which is his body, which is the fullness of him. Jesus is the head. We are his body. His body is the fullness of him. You know what that, if you ever in your life question, is it God's will for me to be healed? Is it God's will for me to be free? Is it God's will for me to have a breakthrough now? Or when is it God's timing? Is it now? Is it five years from now? Ten years from now? I want you to look at that scripture and realize that you are the body of Christ in whom is the fullness of God. Now. Not five years from now, ten years from now, twenty, but now. You know what that means? Is Jesus sick? Is Jesus depressed? Is Jesus oppressed? Is Jesus defeated? No. And if you are his body and all of his fullness is in you, that means it is 100% God's will for you to have everything that Jesus has. 
every spiritual blessing in the heavenly place, which means total healing, total freedom, total victory, total power, total authority over every work of the enemy. That's something to shout about right there. The fullness of God, the fullness of God in you as his body. And it starts with this prayer that the eyes of your heart would be flooded with light so that you would know the unlimited, surpassing greatness of his power that is working in you and for you. We got to camp out on this scripture right here for a moment. God wants us to know the unlimited, surpassing greatness of his power that is in us and for us. Unlimited. Oh, but wait, I, I know Jesus had unlimited power because he was God, but I'm just a person. No, the scripture says that you may know the unlimited power that is working in you and for you. Not just the unlimited power that Jesus walked in, but the unlimited power that has been made available to you. You see, when Paul and John saw the lame man at the gate, Peter said, Peter said to him, what I have I give you. Rise up and walk. You see, before you can give something away, you have to first know you have it. If you don't know you have it, you're not going to walk in it. If you don't know you have it, you're not going to give it away. You have to first know what you have in order to give it away. Peter and John, what I have, I give to you. Rise up and walk. Look, church, it's time that we start living in the fullness of Christ in us. It's time we start accessing every blessing that God has made available to us in Christ Jesus. It's time that we stop living below or less than all that God's heart is for us to have. But something has to rise up on the inside of you. Something has to rise up on the inside of you with a, with a word of wisdom and revelation. You see, it's wisdom and revelation that gives you access to the unlimited power that is already within you. That's why Paul said that the eyes of your heart would be flooded with light so that you will know. You see, without wisdom and revelation flooding the eyes of your heart, you can have all the power in the universe made available to you. But if you don't know it, if you don't really see it, you're not going to walk in it. There's coming a flood of light in this room tonight. There's coming a flood of light, a flood of wisdom and revelation by the person of the Holy Spirit that is going to cause you to know the unlimited greatness of his power, not just in your mind, not just mentally knowing it, but knowing it with the eyes of your heart. And it's totally different. I'm telling you, when you begin to access the unlimited power of God, every other name that is named must submit to the name of Jesus Christ. Every name, every sickness, I don't care what kind of sickness it is, what name it has, it has to submit to the name of Jesus Christ. I'll never forget the night. See, I love, this is why I love the glory of God. Because when his glory comes in, when his presence comes in, he overrides. He overrides and the enemy has to get out. And I decree and declare over your life tonight that the enemy has to get out. Out of your family, out of your home, out of your workplace. He's got to get out because there's a greater one in you. I have a brand new teaching set called The Three Brains. It's one of the most interesting topics I have ever talked about. It's going to teach you how to live out of a place of communion with God, how to be spirit-led, spirit-empowered, and it's going to give you understanding on having the eyes of your heart flooded with light so that you can live 
in a spirit of wisdom and revelation. But I go into a whole scientific teaching on, on how we've been created by God. And I have studied scientific journals as well as many scriptures in the Bible that talk about the three brains God has given us and how the Holy Spirit communicates with our inner man so that we can be led in the power of God. Order your three CD set today with your love gift of $25 or more. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 or visit us online at mattsorger.com. Hi, this is Matt Sorger, and I want to invite you to the land of Israel, August 25th through September 3rd, 2013. We are partnering with the awesome ministry of God TV, and we're going to be joining other national leaders there in the land. We're going to have prayer gatherings, worship times, uh, times of prophecy, and engaging the Lord there in the land of Israel. Your life will be changed forever as you encounter the Spirit of God in the land where Jesus walked. For more information and to book your place on this exciting tour, go to www.god.tv slash Israel 2013. God wants you to be a glory carrier where you carry so much of His glory and presence on your life. You're releasing signs and wonders everywhere you go. I want to invite you to our special Glory Carriers Conference with James Gold, Roland Baker, and Bonnie Shavda. These are fire starters. They are, they are ministers who move in the glory of God. They move in the realms of the Holy Spirit. So I want to invite you to come and have your life changed. This is going to be three days of extended worship, inviting the presence of God, and then receiving impartations, radiations of the very manifest glory of God into our lives. Get ready to be released into new dimensions of signs and wonders. Don't miss out on the Glory Carriers Conference, April 25th to the 27th. For further information and to register, call 1-877-GOD-3131 or go online at mattsorger.com. I'll never forget the time I was in that service and that young boy was sitting out there in the crowd holding his head the whole meeting. And I was thinking to myself, what is wrong with this young boy? He's holding his head the entire service. And I begin to work, move in word of knowledge and Holy Spirit starts to move with healing. And all of a sudden, a visiting pastor who was out there in the crowd grabs this young boy and pulls him up to the front and says, right as I was flowing, in this, he says, this is that young boy right here. This is his condition. So we laid hands on that kid. Laid hands on that young man. The power of God went through him. His eyes got really big. And with my gift of discernment, I knew something was happening. <laughs> and the pastor starts to explain, this young man was born with tumors in his brain, tumors in his head. He lives on a morphine drip. He's had nine head surgeries. And because of the nine head surgeries, the whole left side of his face was down here. Totally reshaped his face, distorting his face. And he's there with a whole distorted face. Nine head surgeries and his head is still full of tumors. That word of knowledge is for this young man. We prayed for him and his eyes got really big and he says, the pain is gone. The pain is gone. The pain is gone. All he knew was that the pain was gone. After living his whole life with pain, suddenly the pain is gone service goes on I'm out at the foyer after the service the mom is standing out there with a young man next to her and she says look at my son and I looked at him and I had to look twice I'm like is that the same young man she says look at my son throughout the rest of the service God reshaped his face and brought the left side back up in proportion with the other side the bone structure restructured as the unlimited power of God What dimension are we living in? Are we getting stuck in the natural and depending just on the natural? Or are we living out of the heavenly sphere? Are we living out of that heavenly place to see the power of the age to come override the limits of this earthly dimension? Took that boy home, said, I'm going to tell my doctors my son is healed. Well, a few months later, I was visiting another church and the pastor's wife was friends with that mom. Two months later, she gets a phone call telling her the rest of the story that I had no idea about. They went home that night, 
The young man starts to blow his nose when he gets home. And all the tumors that were in his head liquefy and come out his nose. Comes out his nose. And after he blows it all out of his nose, he had never had a sense of smell his whole life because the tumors in his head blocked his sensory smells. And for the first time, his sinuses opened up and he was able to smell for the first time in his life. Went to the doctor. Doctor said, oh, mom, that's so nice that you think Jesus healed your son. So nice, mom, but I'm sure, you know, I'm sure we still need to do that surgery. So they go in to check the tumors, and when they go in, they find that every single tumor is gone. It's a miracle. Come on, how many want to walk in that unlimited power? You can have access to it by the spirit of wisdom and revelation. See, when the spirit of wisdom and revelation through the eyes of your heart being flooded with light, you get a knowledge, you get a knowing of the unlimited greatness of his power that is working in you and for you. But without the spirit of wisdom and revelation, without the eyes of your heart being flooded with light, you can't access that unlimited power. But now I was thinking about this scripture and I'm thinking to myself, the eyes of my heart flooded with light. The eyes, the eyes, you know, and I know I started just to ponder it and I started to think about it. And I know that my eyes, eyes, the way eyes work, they're connected to my brain. And I'm like, okay, I understand the eyes of my head where I see and then sensory images come in through my eyes and are processed through my cranial brain. I understand how that process works. But what does the scripture mean by the eyes of my heart? What does that mean? So I began as I was praying on this scripture and praying for the eyes of my heart to be flooded with light. That I would know the surpassing greatness of God's power that is on the inside of me. I began to pray over this and, and I felt prompted to begin doing research on the heart. Because it talked about the eyes of the heart. And as I began to do research, you know, I have preached on living in the glory realm having a glory zone of God how many have heard me preach about having a glory zone of God around you I've preached on this I believe in the atmosphere of the Holy Spirit I believe that you can have an atmosphere of the Holy Spirit on your life where you have a dangerous shadow like Peter he had a dangerous shadow what is that all about that means Peter carried so much of the atmosphere of heaven on his life he had a dangerous shadow how do you get a shadow well number one you get a shadow by standing in the light Stand in the light, you get a shadow. When you stand in the light of God's presence, you get a dangerous shadow. Peter's shadow was so dangerous, he just had to walk down the street and every demonized person, every sick person got healed. He didn't even lay hands on him. He just walked by him. He just walked by him and they came into the atmosphere of glory that was on his life. You see, I really believe this. You can live in such an atmosphere of heaven that no matter what atmosphere is on people around you, you don't have to come under their atmosphere. They have to come under your atmosphere. You just walk by a depressed person and suddenly that spirit of heaviness breaks off of them and joy fills their heart. You walk by a sick person and suddenly that sickness that is attached their, to their body has to let go because there's so much glory radiating out of you. So I began to do research on the heart and I discovered something. Scientists, now I, I, I studied scientific reports made in universities and hospitals by real doctors, not wacko stuff, real scientific stuff. And I learned something, that doctors and scientists are just catching up to what God already knows. And I have to tell you tonight, God is a master designer. He is a master creator. He has fashioned and formed you so perfectly. And doctors are just getting a clue of what God already knows. So they studied the heart, right? And you know, they did these uh, tests with the heart. And the, your heart emits electromagnetic energy. Your heart. And what they found was that 10 feet from the surface of the skin of your chest, your heart radiates electromagnetic energy 10 feet away from your body. That's just natural human energy. Now put the Holy Ghost in there. And not only are you radiating natural human energy, but now you radiate the energy of the Holy Spirit. 
So when we talk about having a glory zone of God around you, you literally have a tangible, energetic zone of God's power that emanates from your heart. Come on now, how many, how many want that? How many want to live in that? I have a brand new teaching set called The Three Brains. It's one of the most interesting topics I have ever talked about. It's gonna teach you how to live out of a place of communion with God, how to be spirit-led, spirit-empowered, and it's gonna give you understanding on having the eyes of your heart flooded with light so that you can live in a spirit of wisdom and revelation. But I go into a whole scientific teaching on, on how we've been created by God, and I have studied scientific journals as well as many scriptures in the Bible that talk about the three brains God has given us and how the Holy Spirit communicates with our inner man so that we can be led in the power of God. Order your three CD set today with your love gift of $25 or more. Call 1-877-GOD-3131 or visit us online at mattsorger.com. If you're watching today and you say, hey, we would love to have Matt come and do some special revival, glory, prophetic healing, breakthrough meetings at our church, at our conference, I just want you to know that I'm here, I'm willing to serve you in any way that I can. Uh, if you're watching, maybe your pastor would be interested, or if you are a pastor, you'd be interested in having us come in and partner together with you to see the glory of God break through in your church and region. We're here for you to see God's glory touch your church and region. April 5th to the 6th, Matt is at the Elisha Company Leadership Conference in Dallas, Texas. April 13th, Matt is at the Waves of Glory Prayer Breakfast in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. April 25th to the 27th, Matt hosts the Glory Carriers Conference on Long Island with guest ministries. Come experience the glory. You know, as I was meditating in scripture and I was reading the verse where it talks about having the eyes of our heart flutter with light so that we would know the unlimited power made available to us by God. I began to think about what does this mean that our heart has eyes? So it caused me to go down this road of study where I began to read scientific journals and even science, scientific studies about the human heart and, and the concept naturally and spiritually of how our heart can have vision and eyes. And in the process, I learned something very interesting. I learned that as the creation of God, as we've been created by God, God has not formed us just with one brain. He's actually given us three brains. And in next week's teaching, I go into in depth what these three brains are and how the Holy Spirit interacts with us, how he communicates with us, talks to us through the different brains that God has given to us. But I've learned how we can have our eyes, our heart, flutter with the light of God's presence so that we can walk in a spirit of wisdom and revelation in knowing the unlimited power of God. See, you have to first know something before you can access it. Once you know something, then you can move from positional revelation to experiential revelation. You begin to walk in it, experience it. And God wants you today to experience His unlimited grace and power in every single area of your life. God bless you today. We need your power. Change your world. Partner with Matt Sorger Ministries.